Hello friends, Osiris here, and the next 7 star terror raid event for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has just been announced. I'm going to go over all of the details of this brand new event and when it's going to be dropping in your games. <laughs> So it's been a few weeks since the last seven star terror raid event that we had for Venusaur, Blastoise and Charizard in Scarlet and Violet. But we now finally have the next event announced and it will be featuring none other than the Generation 2 Grass Starter Meganium. This time out, it will be a pure psychic terror type and it will be running two weekends in a row, starting out with its first phase from the 5th of April, running over until the 7th. And then it'll be back the following week from the 12th of April until the 14th. As it stands, normally with these announcements, we don't have too many other details, but the Meganium will have the mightiest mark, of course. And hopefully, like some of the more recent Terror Raid events that we've had, it will have those Herba Mystica drops along with it. But it is a nice chance for us to get this Generation 2 starter with the Mightiest Mark in that collection of other Mightiest Mark Pokemon that we've had. Now, Meganium is not one of the stronger starter Pokemon. Unfortunately, it does suffer a little bit by a bad move pool. It does get some nice aspects, though. It has got the Leaf Guard ability, but it does need the Sun in effect for that to be a happening. It does, of course, have some decent stats. It is very good defensive, so you could see the raid probably going down a more defensive route, of course and it does get some psychic type attacks obviously namely the reflect and the light screen are probably the most prominent ones that it does get access to and the most powerful psychic type in attack that it does get access to is probably going to be the physical type attack zen head but it does notably get sword stance as well so it does have a way to boost its attack stats so it can take advantage of the zen headbutt which is something we might see it go down of course but outside of that it doesn't really get any fairy type attacks that you would see something like a psychic terror type pokemon have so it could at least cover for those options against dog type pokemon but of course we will go into a lot more depth with our best builds as we prepare for this event later this week and that video will probably drop tomorrow or Tuesday at the very latest so keep an eye out for that one we'll go over all the details of the Meganium but I don't think it's going to be a very difficult one I think we can probably set ourselves up with some really interesting Pokemon that are going to be very effective against it to run through it solo like we normally do on the channel but let me know down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on the Meganium I was pretty much certain and sold on the fact that we were going to get superior as our next seven star terror raid Pokemon but a big nod to Generation 2, of course. It is the anniversary of Johto this year, so it's a nice way to kick us into the seven star terrors since that last Pokemon Day announcement with the Charizard, Venusaur, and the Blastoise. So it looks like we are going to be getting this one. Maybe for Alligator is the next terror event after this one, but we'll have to wait and see. But nice to see that the seven star terror events are back in full flow. So we'll look forward to seeing what this one plays out like later in the week when it drops i hope you found today's video useful friends if you have do drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye yes.